It's been a years long process. They were making offers on ag land way above market. And they were offering very, very generous uh, lease terms to the sellers. And now Flannery Associates LLC owns over 50,000 acres in Solano County, making them the county's largest landowners. The land remains undeveloped, making leaders uncomfortable as they try to understand who is behind the massive land purchase. It's, just, it's disconcerting to me, especially in Rio Vista, because the Flannery purchases surround our city. Uh, and, and it basically just limits uh, anything we can do in terms of expansion without addressing you know, their property. But this may change. This week, Fairfield residents started receiving a survey via text message, which mentions a new project that would include a new city with tens of thousands of new homes. The office of Congressman John Garamendi shared screenshots of that survey with KCRA. He believes that national security could be compromised since part of the land that Flannery bought is adjacent to the Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield. Turns out that they are an, an LLC that is incorporated in Delaware and it is totally opaque. We have no idea who the managers are. We have no idea where the $900 million is coming from that has been used to purchase 55,000 acres of land. The congressman adds that everything about Flannery is suspicious, from the land they've acquired to what he calls mobster tactics to get landowners to sell their properties and making them pay tens of thousands of dollars to protect their land. They are suing landowners who don't want to give up their generational farms. They farmed this land for more than 150 years, uh, one generation to the next. And yet they're suing these farmers for constraint of trade. Through a social media post, Catherine Moy, mayor of the city of Fairfield, shared that the Air Force Base is the largest economic driver of Solano County and if compromised, it would devastate northern Solano County, which brings nearly $3 billion annually to local economies. In Fairfield, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.